Hello and welcome to this course on Ableton Live, specifically on exploring some of the new features in Ableton Live 9.5. My name is Risha Rajan, and I'm going to show you how I implemented some of the major new features in Ableton Live on a short little tune I put together. It's always great to see things in context of a musical example, so I feel you will pick up a lot more this way. Now there are a bunch of new features in 9.5, the automatic track and clip coloring is great. The new high definition waveform is wonderful to look at. The track meter now shows peak as well as average RMS levels. Very helpful. There are a bunch of new presets and samples in the library though it may be a bit hard to find which ones are the new ones. Now all that is great, but I'm going to focus on my favorite features. And those also happen to be some of the major ones from Ableton. Firstly, the Max for Live Essentials pack now has three new synths. But make sure to download this pack and install it, as it's not included in the main program installer. We're going to go in depth with all these new synths. There are some awesome new filter models which were developed in collaboration with Cytomic. We're going to check them all out. I'll show you how I use them in my tune as well. Finally, we're going to look at the all new Simpler. Ableton should probably change its name because it has become quite a powerful sampler and we will check out all that's new with it. And I'll show you some creative possibilities with it too. Alright, let's start off by getting into the new Max for Life synths. 